three things that you need if you are going through a family court case. Number one, to check your circle. It's really, really important that when you are going through a tumultuous situation, a high conflict situation, something that is stressful and has so much on the line, it's really important that the people that are around you are supportive, are understanding, and that they are going to bring out the best in you and be able to provide the best for you. What I mean by that is a lot of times when you're going through these custody battles, these divorces and things of that nature, you can have people in your circle who are gassing you up and throwing fuel in the fire, co-signing shenanigans because they're upset with the person that, you know, is your child's other parent or your ex-spouse. And they may not be thinking clearly just like you are. So it's going to be really important for you to have people around you who can be objective and who can provide you with some insight and perspective that's going to help you move through this case in a way that does not cause more destruction than if you were moving through it alone. So make sure you just check your circle and make sure that the people that you have around you not only care about you, but if children are involved, they care about your children and they are invested in your family so that at the end of the day, when the ish hits the fan, you'll know that their advice will be something that you can count on. Number two, if you are going to hire a consult, a legal team, make sure that that team is solution focused. You don't want to hire a legal team who is solely focused on litigating your case. You want to have someone who is gonna be solution focused, who is okay with you going to mediation, who is going to help you figure out the best ways to compromise so that you can have some resolve in your case, who's going to help guide you through the case in a way that is amicable and not one that is destructive, and who is going to be focused on, okay, now we're at this place, where we have to seek some type of intervention from the court, whether that's due to a divorce or whether that's due to, you know, you and the other parents separating and you're going through a custody battle, whatever the case is. Now you're here. What's next? How are we going to get over this so that we can move forward? Whoever you hire as a consultant or as your attorney should be focused on how to get you out of this situation in a way that is going to be the best for your family and for your children. And remember that if you have an attorney that is only focused on the fight, you will be fighting forever. Number three, therapy. Hear me out because I know you may not think that you need to participate in therapy. You may think that the other parent is the only one that needs some help, right? But the reality is when you're going through a family court case, no one is safe from having some type of negative emotional impact or psychological impact that's it comes to the territory and oftentimes the things that you think won't cause you stress and anxiety and frustration and anger and to lash out and whatever else are the things that do so it's always a better idea to be proactive and to seek therapy whenever possible especially if you have a high conflict situation that is going to drag out for a while especially if you have a situation where you've been cut off from your children or where you don't know where your children are you can't have any contact with them if all of a sudden your soon to be ex spouse or you know the opposing side is acting like a completely different person that you don't even recognize and you can't understand why they would say these things and why they would do these things therapy will be a resource for you to be able to kind of talk through that and have the tools so that you can work through that and move your case forward and so that you can do it in a way that won't negatively impact you on the same level that it will if you try to do this process on your own. The same goes for your children. A lot of times we don't realize that our children are experiencing their own fight internally when they're having to deal with their parents going through a custody case or getting a divorce. They may remain silent about their feelings. They may not express the complete truth about how they feel about the fact that you're separating or you're going back and forth to court. Or they may be expressing things, but it may not even be in alignment with what they truly feel because they're too worried about you and the other parent and saying the right things and trying to make the other parent feel away and you feel away and all of these things that children should not have to be involved in. So just like it's a good idea for you to get therapy, your children should also have a safe space so that they can have a resource and someone to speak to and help them work whatever it is that they're experiencing in this process.